We have a problem, a really big problem. The future of our planet is in our hands. The Earth is getting warmer. Why is all this happening? Our fossil fuel energy habit is affecting the world we depend upon for survival. It's solar projects like these that we need a lot more of that are going to move us forward. The city already saves $30,000 a year. The great thing about a clean energy priority for the city, which does require putting some money into up front, is that it pays itself back over time in energy savings. The city currently saves $100,000 a year from uh, investments they've made in energy efficiency in city buildings. Excel doesn't want to see us move away from coal and natural gas because that's how they make their money. Kind of like old Ma Bell and the rotary telephone. Technology has come a long way. We are inspired to take action here in our community. We do have options to a 20-year renewal. In the end, it fell to concerned citizens to put the issue on the ballot themselves and to give Lafayette voters a choice on our direction on energy. It's very important to vote no on 2A. It's time to send a message to Wall Street Utilities. Their investments in keeping old coal power plants alive has to end. By making these investments in coal, they're keeping renewable energy offline and making it harder to implement renewable energy. Under Colorado law, Excel is, is required to provide the gas and electricity to us, even without a franchise. Voting no on 2A is extremely important. It means saying no to another 20-year commitment to Excel. We care about the massive water use involved in burning fossil fuels. We care about the pollution associated with burning coal. on 301. Our energy taxes should be invested in renewable energy. I'm going to vote yes on issue 301 in order to give the citizens of this wonderful city control of our energy future. One thing the city can do is incentivize businesses as well as residents to invest in renewable energy and energy efficiency, saving businesses money and uh, making them more profitable. It's painless because we're going to change the 3% franchise fee that you pay on your utility bill right now to a 3% occupancy tax. All you have to do to promote renewable energy in Lafayette is approve 301. One hope is that what we're doing will provide an example for other communities to follow as a model for transitioning from fossil fuels to renewable energy and energy efficiency. It's not only an energy issue, it's a moral issue. It's an environmental issue. It's a matter of the world that we leave to our children. You know, if the environment's ruined, then you know, what kind of world are we going to leave for our kids? We want to be able to leave them the same wonderful world that we grew up in. If you're given a choice between clean and dirty, why would you select dirty? We want clean energy for our community, for our children, for our grandchildren. It makes sense. The only way we can win against this old Wall Street utility is with your help. The way to counter their money is with our people. We are running a grassroots campaign. They might have the war chest, but we have the will and the feet on the street. We need you more than ever. Your financial support will make our community's voice known in this election. Together, we'll show the big utilities what people want. Renewable, clean energy and energy efficiency. We need your support. Join us today.